Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your February reading. I'm aware that it's the middle of February already. Um, things have been really a lot lately. A lot, a lot, a lot. Um, I have decided to seek treatment for this rare bone marrow cancer elsewhere. So I've moved from Kansas City to Colorado to get treatment here. And um, there aren't any clinical trials or anything going on here. And I'm still in such an early stage that I would like to be a guinea pig for this to try and, and heal it so nobody else has to go through what I'm going through. <clears throat> um, so I've decided to go to New York. And that's a big decision to make. I have support there. I have physical support there. And I'm telling all of you guys this because I can and you'll support me and you'll hold that space for me to be able to like fall apart, you know? Like that's why I'm telling you guys this because I just know, I mean, I, I woke up this morning and remembered that a dear friend of mine who's a cancer um, messaged me on Friday. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I haven't messaged her back. And I know that that's not a problem, you know, like she doesn't care that I didn't message her. Sorry, I'm going to get emotional. She didn't care that I didn't message her back, but um, I should have because I could have used that container that you provide the safety container. So in saying all of that, I have my calendar open. I'm doing a lot of procedures right now. Um, there's just a lot going on, you guys. Like I wish that I could just talk about it all and maybe I will in a separate video. I don't want to like monopolize your video telling you all about it, but I've got a whole bunch of procedures going on right now. I mean like bruised seriously it's bad i bruise easily anyways but it's just kind of torture so i've got my readings open and our donation link is in the description box i need help to get to new york i don't know when it's going to happen i don't know how long it's going to take um to get there, I just know that I need to get there because I do have physical support that can help Henry and I both. Um, Cause it takes a village, it really does. It takes a community to, and you guys know that more than anything. You guys know that it takes um, a whole community to take care of each other. And I've had to become very vulnerable in my life to learn that, that to learn to, um, ask for help and to learn to come to my community when I'm in, in distress, right? Um, so that's why the reading is late. <laughs> it's because I've been going through some things and trying to like get through this stuff. And um, Pluto, uh, let's talk about some things for you guys. Pluto is, um, kind of doing a number on you guys too. And will, you know, for the next 20 years, and I know that he's going to dip back into Capricorn one more time this year before being in Aquarius for 20 years, but all of these, like the personal planets, right? Starting with the sun, Kazemi, well, it wasn't really a Pluto Kazemi because that's not a thing, but um, when the sun conjoined Pluto and then we had Mercury conjoined Pluto and then we had the new moon in Aquarius, Aquarius joined Pluto before perfecting. Then we had, um, now we have Mars today. Actually, Mars is ingressing Pluto, conjoining Pluto. And then we'll have Venus on Friday at the end of this week. So for the rest of February and really moving forward, like, you know, there's, there's this massive shift in perspective and massive transformative energy that's happening for all of us, not just a little bit, right? It's for all of us for the next 20 years. It's a whole new generation. <clears throat> if you're my age, 44, you've been through these Pluto ingresses to other planets. 
but this is a time for um, really stepping into some abundant um, spaces for you guys, some really abundant spaces. So Pluto for Cancer Rising and Cancer Sun, um, this is this tarot reading is also for Cancer Moon, but when we're talking astrology, Cancer Rising and Cancer Sun, you guys are really um, learning how to share resources and space with other people, other energies, I want to say. Because yes, it's going to be other people, but we're talking about like eighth house stuff here. So it's not just with other people, it's with everything. You're learning how to co coexist. Your soul is evolving and learning to coexist with other resources in the universe. And that doesn't just mean third dimensional. That means all of it, right? And however that looks, for some people that looks like doing death doula work, right? Like really coexisting with the death work. For some people that looks like doing tarot work, doing astrology work, doing, you know, like really just working with people through transformations and transitions. And through that, you're also transforming. And, and I feel like that, you know, talking about that is ne absolutely necessary because that's where we find abundance is through those transformations. You guys are starting March off wildly abundant. This is pretty amazing, or I'm sorry, February. Uh, I guess starting March, you could say starting March off too. I mean, I'll be doing another reading for you guys in the next couple of weeks, but so we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Ace of Cups. This is for February, by the way, no, I said March, but it is February. Um, Four of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. I love this. Um, This really feels like, oh, here. I didn't realize I had my Kleenex so close to me. Let me just <laughs> sop up the tears. My eyes get really swollen if I cry too much. Um, so there's this abundance and it's, it's coming from inside. This abundance that you have is welling up from inside. And I feel like it's also coming from rest too. Um, the nine of cups is the wish card. And I, I almost even want to say that Like, I almost want to say that it feels like you're sort of fat and happy right now, kind of like a cat. <laughs> that that's sort of, for some of you, that that's how you're really, uh, that's how it's really feeling. And it's because you're pouring into yourself. I love to see this. The Ace of Cups and the Four of Swords. And the reason why is because you guys do pour into other people so much. Like this morning, like all I had to do was text my friends and instantly it was like, just like an abundance of love and, and coming from my phone. It was insane. And it was wonderful. It was wonderful. And I needed it. Uh, and I really, really appreciated it and made sure that I, I let her know how much I appreciated that. But it's it, the reason why you guys can do that is because you are doing it for yourself as well. And so I want you to continue to do so because this is where you'll also find the physical abundance, right? You can feel it all you want and you can hope and wish for it all you want, but that physical abundance comes from that inner well, right? That we have to always be adding back to, giving back to. So nine of cups. Ace of Cups. Ooh. Okay. So for some of you, this is about... Um, ooh. My, my. How things change. So this is, this is one of the reasons why... Why... Um, you also are really wanting to pour into yourself and really wanting to take the time 
to love on yourself is because I do think that you're moving away. I think that there's a, there's some massive healing and transformation. Like I said, there's this Pluto eighth house stuff that's going on um, pretty big. We also have, um, you know, Saturn. It will, so we're going to have the Mercury Kazemi, the sun conjunct Saturn and Mercury conjunct Saturn all on February 28th and the last Day of the month, and this is all in your ninth house. And so you're learning in so many ways how to expand yourself right now. And it through that is the is that healing process. There's no rushing. The bottom of the deck is the seven of swords. Okay. Cancers are really, really good at containing emotions, whether it be theirs or somebody else's. But that also means that you're really, really good at holding on to deception, holding on to things when other people have hurt you or harmed you in some way. You can hold on to that as well. And I almost want to say that there's, that's, so you're, that's the restriction breaking that's happening here. That's like the breaking free that's happening here. Um, the Knight of Swords on the Nine of Cups. I really understand this energy in a big way because, you know, when you really know what you want or you know what, you know, you can see it, right? You know what you want and you can see it in your future but you just don't know how to get there. You just don't know what to do to get there. I know that you want to rush in, but it's not time yet. It, you, there's a divine timing that's happening here. And sometimes I think that you are wondering if this divine timing is actually, actually working against you. Um, the three of swords on this ace of cups, and this is where I want you guys to anchor yourselves. I don't want you to contain your emotions to where you're holding on to them. I want you to be able to flow, allow them to flow freely as well. You don't always have to be put together. You know, you can also fall apart sometimes and allow you because the water that's flowing out of this Ace of Cups are also the tears of sorrow to make room for the joy. All right? Like, think of it that way. The easiest way for me to get through it <laughs> is by crying. My little Cancer Mars. Like, I have to take action on my feelings. I have to take action on my feelings because my Mars is in Cancer. I have to. Otherwise, if I keep them bottled up, they will come out as an explosion and nobody needs a, 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 a watery, fiery explosion. Um, the chariot on the four of swords. When in doubt, take a pause. This is you, guys. The chariot is you. Moving forward, moving on. And it's all about the journey and the balance of the journey. So when you are getting into that space where it's just, per because we went from cups and cups and pentacles and abundance to swords, 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 overthinking, 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 being in pain and hurting and fear and all of that and overthinking all of it and compiling it all on top of you. So when in doubt, take pause and ask yourself what's the truth because if you don't believe that this kind of pentacles is possible nobody's gonna believe it for you that total abundance right nobody's gonna believe that that full and total abundance is going to be for you if you don't believe that and everybody this abundance is different for everybody for some people they already have the money the monetary and the abundant part is where they want the family for some people, they have the family and the love and the abundance part is where they need the money. So if you, that five of swords, if you want to second guess yourself into believing that it doesn't exist, then it's not going to exist. But then you're only betraying yourself at that point, right?
Um, the strength card on the bottom of the deck, we have the seven of swords. We have the strength card. And then we have the six of wands. Nobody said that February was going to be easy. Nobody said that 2024 was going to be easy. If you missed out on my 2024 astrology stuff, um, I will link that video to the end of this one. So if you want to just fast forward at this point, you can get to the astrology um, for the year. But um, everything that's happening, all of those emotional restrictions that you may have going on inside of you is helping you to become more resilient. It's helping you to tame some of your own demons and create success for yourself. That six of wands is success, which is exactly what you're going, you'll be moving into if you can believe that it's possible. And I even think, and you know, I mean, you guys can like get on me about this if you want to, but I believe that the impossible is also possible. I don't think that you can look at anybody and say you can't do that. That's impossible. I don't think that that's a thing. I really don't. Um, so I would never say that to anybody. So I think even for you, for sure, more than anything, just believe. Believing in the impossible. Because um, that's what this feels like. It feels like you almost think that there are some things that are going not, you know, there are some things that you really want to do in life, but it's not possible. Some things hurt you pretty bad. And I think that um, getting really honest with yourself about that so that it doesn't hurt you anymore is going to be your greatest relief. I love you, Cancer. I could just sit here and talk all day with you. So um, take really good care of yourselves. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you later. Bye.